Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. First of all, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you and I believe the channel is going to help it for you. Also, make sure to join our Telegram group as well. We are having more than uh, 9000 members over there, right? So you can make sure to join the Telegram group. The link is there in the description itself. right so from the thumbnail itself you can get the idea that what we are basically going to talk about in this video well i'm going to share my interview experience with the sol system right so i applied the few days back for the role of java developer and this requirement was for the people having the uh, experience from 2 to 5 years so i applied for this role in this video i'll be discussing about how the complete process was what were the rounds what was the difficulty level what kind of questions were asked so i believe that this video will be helpful for you and the end result was that i was selected right so i'll be sharing everything uh, that can be helpful for you in this video so make sure to be with me till the end of this video let's get started so guys before proceeding further there is something that i want to discuss about right so right now we all understand what the current situation is right and uh, you know uh, especially i would i believe that many freshers and even experienced candidates right we all are going through a tough situation nowadays uh, due to recession due to the market situation that is right now we all can see and uh, you know whenever i'm opening linkedin there is some company layoffs everything that i'm able to see and which is truly disheartening so this one question that will be there in your mind that this if this is a right time to switch or not so this i would like to discuss first before talking about the rounds and the process and all those things right so see if you are uh, in a stable company a stable company means here is that like uh, you are not listening any news related to layoffs or something or anything like that is not happening in your company then that is fine i would suggest that it's not the right time to switch first of all because i myself applied for uh, multiple opportunities right so somehow what happened like even after you know clearing two to three rounds the position uh, went on hold right they were like okay uh, the biz- now there is no business requirement and again it's just like some companies and it's not just i'm talking about the service based company that is for the product based company and the same thing happened with the service based companies as well right so i won't mention the company name for any of them right so even for the service based company there was a service based company for which i appeared for the interview i cleared all the rounds and then i didn't hear back right even uh, everything happened uh, all the rounds completed uh, hr discussion everything happened then i didn't hear back from them i did multiple follows but uh, no but no response right and the same thing with the product based companies like uh, product based startups or mncs that i applied for so two to three rounds happened and post that uh, they said they'll they'll be they'll be scheduling another round in some days and then i i didn't hear back after that uh, either the business requirement was not there the position went on hold or they themselves never reverted right so this kind of scenario scenario is the thing that i faced but it's still it's not like that you cannot get the you know cannot get the opportunity you cannot get the job that's not how it is but if everything is going well in your organization right stability is there there is no layoff going on i would suggest be wherever you are but if you know these kind of situation is there as i mentioned like right, layoffs or they are simply asking you to put the resignation right or, or like these things are happening then i would suggest apply right don't be on the risky part don't wait that they themselves are saying ask you to put the resignation or you know like these things are happening don't wait for them start applying for the opportunities because that's the only thing that we can do and it's not like companies are not hiring i can see multiple companies are hiring even i myself have been uh, has applied for the opportunities got the call even right again so if this is the thing then you can definitely apply for the opportunities otherwise it's it's not the right time to switch uh, according to me if everything is going well with you stay with your company another thing is that the problem that you will face that is regarding your compensation i'm not saying everyone will face the same but nowadays they are able to understand theek hai that this candidate okay abhi kya hai candidate ki majboori hai hai na so they are also understanding it and even agar aap pehle se compare karo sorry i went from english to hindi mode right so agar aap pehle se compare karoge so what is the thing पहले एक एक्सपीरियंस के हिसाब से जो था कैंडिडेट का सी टी सी फिक्स होता था एक कंपनी पॉलिसी होती थी एंड इवन दैट इज बिंग फॉलोड इन अदर कंपनीज राइट कि अगर आपका इतना एक्सपीरियंस है तो इसके ऊपर इस लिमिट को एक्सीड करके आपको पैकेज ऑफर नहीं किया जा सकता राइट इवन आपके राउंड अच्छे जा रहे हो इस तरीके से हो सकता है अगर आपके पास एक काउंटर ऑफर हो देन दे मे थिंक अबाउट इट अदरवाइज एक लिमिट सेट होती थी राइट right? जो अभी भी है कुछ कंपनीज में बट अगेन अभी जैसे कि आप ट्वेंटी में जब हमारी हायरिंग हुई एंड काफ़ी सारी कंपनीज ने बहुत ही ज़्यादा हाइक दे दी मतलब जब भी दूसरा कैंडिडेट को हायर किया तो बहुत हाइक दे दी 
नहीं तो एक ये भी रीजन रहा क्योंकि ले ऑफ का ठीक है ये भी एक रीजन रहा ठीक है ये एक रीजन है ठीक है ले ऑफ का ये भी एक रीजन है कि इतना ज्यादा बढ़ा के आपने दे दिया कि एक एक कैंडिडेट को जिसको एक साल का एक्सपीरियंस है आप उसको इतना पहले पहले जो उसका सिटी सिटी सी था उसमें इतना ज्यादा इंक्रीमेंट करके दे रहे हो तो अभी उन्हें वो चीजें रियलाइज हो रही है है ना कि इस तरीके से नहीं नहीं करना था बिकॉज इवन आई अप्लाइड फॉर सम ऑफ द कंपनीज तो दे सेट इवन आई वॉज हैविंग अ काउंटर ऑफर ओके मेरे पास एक ऑफर था तो आई सेट कि राइट नाउ दे आर ऑफरिंग मी दिस बट अगेन दिस सेट कि मेरे हमारा अभी इतना बजट है एंड एज पर योर एक्सपीरियंस हम आपको इससे ऊपर ऑफर नहीं कर सकते यू आर एक्सीडिंग द बजट ठीक है तो वो आगे प्रोसेस ही नहीं हुआ है ना तो एक ये चीज भी रहेगी आपकी कि ऑफर जो है एज पर एक्सपीरियंस अभी जो सी टी सी ऑफर करें वो एज पर एक्सपीरियंस करें है ना थोड़ा सा इसमें क्योंकि वो अभी समझ रहे हैं कि कैंडिडेट की मजबूरी है है ना अभी वो समझ रहे हैं कंपटीशन इतना ज्यादा है ठीक है ले हो रहे हैं काफी कंपनीज इसी चीज का फायदा उठा रही है काइंड ऑफ वॉट आई कैन से तो अगेन अगेन द सेम पॉइंट हम वहीं पे आ गए कि दिस इज नॉट द राइट टाइम टू सच बट कंडीशन इज दैट अगर आपकी कंपनी में सब सही चल रहा है बट अगेन वन थिंग एक चीज जो बार बार हो रही थी कि लोग कह रहे थे प्रोडक्ट बेस में टॉप नोच कंपनीज जो है हमारी वहाँ ले ऑफ हो रहा है ऐसा नहीं है सर्विस बेस कंपनीज में भी ले ऑफ हो रहा है ठीक तरीके से भी कंपनियां कर रही हैं कि आपको दे आर फोर्सिंग फुट द रेजिग्नेशन राइट तो ले ऑफ बहुत सारी कंपनी में हो रहे हैं अगर आपके में ऐसे कुछ सिचुएशन नहीं है आपको इस तरीके कोई इन्फॉर्मेशन नहीं मिली तो आप अपना कंपनी में रहो आराम से बाद में आप प्रिपरेशन करते रहो ठीक है प्रिपरेशन करते रहो एंड अभी इस चीज से जो मोस्ट इम्पैक्ट हुआ है वो हुआ है फ्रेशर्स को तो ऐसे काफी पोस्ट मैंने देखे या स्टूडेंट्स के कमेंट देखे कि दे आर नॉट गेटिंग द मोटिवेशन टू प्रिपेयर बिकॉज काफी जो ड्रीम कंपनीज होती हैं स्टूडेंट्स की राइट right? तो वो ले ऑफ कर रही है है ना हायरिंग ही नहीं आ रही है तो एक मोटिवेशन जो होता है पढ़ने का वो एक तरीके से जा रहा है बट गाइड सी कोई और ऑप्शन तो है नहीं पढ़ना आपको पड़ेगा एंड हायरिंग आएगी मतलब चीजें स्टेबल होंगी दैट वी आर नॉट श्योर टिल वेन बट मे बी बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस ईयर ठीक है ये एक एस्टिमेट है बट अगेन वी आर नॉट श्योर तो लेकिन और कोई ऑप्शन नहीं है पढ़ो आप ऐसा नहीं है कि आप जो पढ़ोगे कुछ सीखोगे आपके नॉलेज में कुछ एड ऑन होगा वो वेस्ट नहीं जाएगा ठीक है सो गाइज आई वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ यू वर हैविंग दिस क्वेश्चन एंड इवन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो दिस क्वेश्चन आई बिलीव काफी सारे लोगों के माइंड में आता है सो दैट्स वाई आई थॉट कि एक बार इसको डिस्कस कर लेते हैं तो अब चीजें क्लियर हो गई है सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द डिसॉल्व सिस्टम सो अगेन सी लाइक इवन बिफोर अपेयरिंग फॉर द इंटरव्यू वॉट आई डिड आई वेंट थ्रू द ग्लास टोर टू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक वट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन डू दे आस्क एंड वॉट बेसिकली द कम्प्लीट प्रोसेस इज सो वॉट आई फाउंड दैट द नंबर ऑफ राउंड डू वेरी राइट सो इट कैन बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट इफ यू आर अपेयरिंग फॉर द इंटरव्यू फॉर द सेम रोल सो देर कैन बी लेस नंबर ऑफ राउंड फॉर यू अ मोर नंबर ऑफ राउंड फॉर यू अगेन इट डिपेंड्स बट आई बी शेयरिंग हाउ मनी नंबर ऑफ राउंड फॉर देयर फॉर मी सो दैट वुड बी हेल्पफुल सो फर्स्टली वॉट आई डिड लाइक आई अपलाइड ऑन द करियर पोर्टल फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी and then um, i got an email so in the email certain details was uh, like they have mentioned like they asked about the tech stack that i'm uh, working on right so about that they asked about my experience about the ctc that what what is my current ctc and if i'm holding any offer what is the ctc for that and what is the notice period all this information they asked for in the email i replied for the email and after that uh, i soon i got a call from the hr right so uh, she asked me again about my experience and explained me about the role and all those things and then she asked me about uh, certain other things right that is relatable to the role and then she explained me how many rounds would be there for me right so this was a telephonic conversation that happened i believe that that is also a part of the process only right then um, yeah then the next process or the next round that i went through was an online test right so this test was consisting of certain mcqs in java and two coding questions so if talking about the difficulty level of this test so i would say that was medium only right so i was able to do the test properly and uh, like i had the confidence after completing the test that i'll be moving to the next round right so as expected i got the email that i've cleared this test i got a call from the hr then and she asked me about my availability and then she scheduled the interview so the next was uh, a technical round that was for 1 hour so 1 hour technical round was there right so now we'll be talking about this round okay so first uh, as interviewer joined and she explained me about the role about her role in the company right so what they are working on what the products they are working on you know she gave me a complete idea then she asked me uh, to introduce myself so that's what i did then she explained that how the interview is going to be so first she said that first i'll be checking your knowledge in the java so i'll be having certain questions right and then we'll be moving to the coding part 
okay so as she mentioned so she asked me certain questions some questions were very uh, really basic questions right from the core java itself right so now i have noted down them certain topics that you have to prepare and you should be having the good understanding of so some questions were very very basic right so i i'm expecting that you should be aware of them and uh, other topics i have noted down so let me iterate them for you first is oops concept so you should be very clear about it to explain the pillars of the oops and if someone is asking to give a real life example or in the project how you have used it next is the internal working of the hash map most asked questions in most of the interviews next is the um, string concepts questions related to string concepts for us then uh, about collections right so collections um, it's not just in this interview you will you will get this question i am sure anyhow you will get this question even if one question will be there but definitely if you are appearing for a role of java developer you will definitely get question from collection then threading right multi threading so from this also you can expect certain question right so this was a kind of theoretical part and she was trying to understand that how uh, good knowledge i have in them then she moved to the coding part so she asked me two questions so these both questions are available on the lead code and as per lead code they are marked as medium only right so they were let me tell you that what concept they were based on so they were based on hashing right so i was able to solve both the questions so first she explained me the question right and uh, yeah then what i did is it's like uh, first before starting coding uh, and all those things first i started with the explanation of my approach with a brute force approach and then the optimized approach so brute force approach i just explained her and then i added okay i we can further optimize it in this way and then i did the implementation of the optimized approach then again she asked me to you know quickly make her to go through the code what i have written and then as per the inputs so she gave me certain inputs and just asked me provide this and let me know like what the output you are getting so all this we were doing i was doing by sharing my screen right on any id she told so i was doing in on eclipse okay so this was the first question the next question was also uh, this was a lead code medium question only and i think that these two questions they both are in the top 100 questions top 100 question list i think in the lead code right so second question was also the easy one only so i would say easy because uh, i have already solved those questions so yeah they were easy for me so again for that question also first i explained her the approach how, how i'll be doing it for this one i directly explained her the optimized approach itself and that's what i implemented because what i could see the time was very less so that's why i uh, directly uh, explained the optimized approach and then i started coding it up right so both the uh, like both the questions I, I was able to code it even the questions she asked from the java part uh, just one or two question that i think somewhere my explanation was not that proper otherwise i was able to give the uh, answers correctly only so i was expecting a positive outcome only from this round so i believe after 3 to 4 days i got the email again from the hr that i've cleared this round the next round is going to be a managerial round right so the managerial round was scheduled um, day after like when i got this email right so the, the next day itself the managerial round was scheduled so again this was also one hour round itself okay so managerial round in this round i believe there were a sort of questions some hr kind of questions were asked and technical questions were also there so first uh, again the interviewer started with his own introduction that how long he's working with the company the goals and the products and all those things he gave me a complete idea then he asked me to introduce myself um asked a bit about my family background and all those things then again he gave me a coding question and first of all he asked me the approach before proceeding to the coding part so he asked me to explain the approach and then he asked me to uh, code it up in the notepad right he basically asked me to write a function with the provided inputs and what the logic would be right as per the logic that i explained so i i did that part and then uh, he asked me like about my project and what I, like what is my role over there what is my you know day to day working what i'm uh, working on you know all the responsibilities and all those things that's what he asked and then certain other uh, situation based questions were asked so yeah it was a complete one hour of interview and i would rate it as easy to medium level only right so the coding question also he gave me that was um, a medium level question but yeah i would say i have already done that so that was an easy question only for me right so again uh, that was a like i was expecting a positive outcome only like it went really well for me and even uh, by the end of the interview i asked about the feedback so i got a positive feedback only right and uh, yeah so again i was hoping for a uh, like that i'll be clearing the interview rounds because these were the three rounds for me only that i explained first online test then technical interview then managerial interview right so the same day itself i got the results that i've been selected and then the salary discussion and all those things happened so that's what the complete process for me
for the resource system for this particular opportunity of the java developer so i hope that my interview experience helped you if it is so then let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video everyone bye bye